Chicago Cubs Baseball on WGN. Few things are more closely associated with the Chicago Cubs than WGN. For over 70 years, the network has broadcast Cubs games over the air for free. But free coverage will be coming to an end after this season as the front office signed a lucrative deal with Sinclair Broadcasting to create a new, standalone, Cubs-only channel available at a premium via cable and satellite. The network could cost TV subscribers an extra $4 a month, whether they want it or not. This shift from a legacy network to pay TV follows broader trends in the sports media landscape as teams and networks alike are trying to figure out what fans want in a device-driven world. There's a lot of buzz about the Cubs starting their own network, Marquee Network. I mean, they've partnered with Sinclair Media, and Sinclair has been in the news lately uh, because they just acquired all of the Fox regional sports networks that Disney had owned that they were forced uh, to sell as a part of the Fox Disney deal. So what is it gonna look like? A lot of us are wondering what is it gonna look like, but at the end of the day, what they're going to do is they're gonna deliver you live Cubs games in a broadcast way, it probably would look a little bit different than what you're seeing today on WGN or local Channel 7 and NBC Sports Chicago. But for right now, they need to go out and start a channel and they have to distribute that channel. So they need to go out and get distribution. That is absolutely key. So there's a lot of questions right now and it's a short window because this thing is gonna have to be launched by March of 2020. Live sports are always going to be more likely to be on a bigger screen on your traditional format. Studio shows are, are, are dying. Studio sports just, I would not be all that surprised if they didn't exist in 10 to 15 years. And that's a scary thing for me to say as a studio host. Uh, where's it all going, right? I mean, it's, it's, we continually talk about convergence, technology, speed, engagement, I think at the end of the day, the sports fans will win out because there's gonna be so much to choose from. I think 5G is gonna be a huge game changer just in terms of speed of delivery, in terms of mobile. There are states that are going to legalize gambling and I think that Illinois is gonna be one of the first. Uh, the deficit here is, is so tremendous that the state probably has no other choice than to legalize sports gambling. It is not only going to happen, it has to happen. I would say that we need to take a more fresh approach. I'm not saying depart from that, but give you alternate ways or an alternate feed. So if there's a way to integrate gambling that you're not hitting people over the head, who don't necessarily care about gambling, but are getting those stats, I would say absolutely, because the leagues and the network certainly see that there's gonna be more interest in sports if people are putting money on it. I think eventually people are going to be able to gamble on any kind of sport that they want, college or otherwise. You're gonna see just more more content, you're gonna see more experimentation, you're gonna see possibly new sports and recreations based on how we're able to kind of deliver. I mean, ratings are down because people are just consuming in a different way. But live events and live football especially completely dominate. As much as there's been a revolution right now in technology and TV and social media and the way we consume, we still pretty much watch sports in a traditional way, the way these networks are giving it to you. People still carve out their time for live sports, and they will continue to carve out their time for live sports because they have favorite teams, because that's how they get an escape from their daily routine. And that is not going to change until life as we know it changes. The consumption habits will continue to change, but I think the decline of live sports, uh, I think that demise is, is talked about a little bit too much.